shalom family once again you're welcome welcome to this amazing great awesome world awesome session of course it's your friend and it's your sister dr irene and i bring a very timely word from the lord hallelujah you know this one is kind of like very funny and when the lord gave it to me i was kind of like god you are really faithful truly god is faithful and like the bible says no one ever goes to god or no one who observes the ways of the Lord, observes what he tells you to do, will end up being in shame. Hallelujah. Thank all those that are checking in to really this particular word. If it's your first time to click on my video, returning viewers, returning subscribers, I love you so much. I love you so, so much. Please consider to like, subscribe, and the Lord bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. God says, the counterfeit has met their match. Mm. So the counterfeit has met their match. <laughs> you know, sometimes when the Lord tells us, be still or be silent and leave it, I'm going to fight for you. Sometimes we feel like God is going to descend with the king from heaven, you know, in order to be the person to flog the person. But it doesn't happen that way. God will use another person in order to bring forth your victory in order to bring forth your defense i see this person they they were a thorn in your flesh and the fact that you kept quiet made them to react even more more much and it made them to feel like you're weak they took your silence for a weakness they took your silence for foolishness they took your silence for you know and they mocked at it they forgot that it is the way it is God that was leading you to be calm, to be silent towards all that which they were doing, towards the fight to take your place, the fight to remove you, the fight to put you out and all of that. And they kept doing it. But the Lord has shown forth. God says, I should tell you, the counterfeit has met their match. He has met their match. Someone that is oppressing and suppressing them. I see this person literally weeping and crying and asking, what have they done? Or why are they going through uh, this so much uh, 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 oppression in the hands of this other person? They are like, you didn't used to treat them like this. You didn't used to do this even when they spoke harshly to you. You kept quiet, you ignored them, but right now they are going through a lot of things. God says for you, just keep your silence. He will keep fighting your battles and you will hold your peace in the name of Jesus. Amen.